Here I've built a wireless activity tracker that you can wear on your arm that's based on the particle photon. I use the particle photon because it makes it easy to send sensor data to the internet. I've attached the particle photon to one of our photon wearable shields so that I can sew it into this leather cuff. I've also sewn in these lily pad sensors. And you can use lily pad, you can use anything that's broken out as a wearable device and you just stitch it all together using conductive thread like any other e-textiles project and send all of that data to the internet. On this cuff, I have a temperature sensor underneath uh, against my skin so that I can read my skin temperature. I have an accelerometer. Hopefully you could use that data to count steps like a pedometer or just to generally get a feel of whether or not you're being active during a certain period of time. And then I also have a light sensor. And I'm taking all of that data and I'm aggregating it uh, in the photon. I also have an RGB LED which I'm using as a status LED. You can see when the device is on, I get a white light out of the RGB LED because I'm basically driving every channel of the LED. But when it turns green like this, that means it's aggregating the sensor data and getting ready to send it to the internet. As soon as that turns white again, I know that the data has been posted successfully and it's waiting to grab more sensor data. I made this cuff out of some excess tooling leather that I had laying around and I just popped a couple of eyelets in it and stained it brown so it looks you know, halfway presentable and then I've taken these wearable boards and I placed them sort of where I thought would be best so that I didn't have to cross any traces. After I punched my holes, I just sewed it together like you would any other lily pad or e-textiles project. The Photon wearable board makes it nice and easy to actually sew these things down because it has the same pedals as the lily pad boards. So you do a couple of wraps of conductive thread around that and it gives you a nice tight connection. All of these sensors are giving me analog outputs and that can be pretty sensitive to something that has a little bit of resistance like conductive thread but even so I'm getting pretty solid continuous readings out of all of the sensors. Working with the Photon was refreshingly easy actually. I've been working with a lot of small Linux systems and things like that lately, writing Python code or compiling C code, that means I have to edit make files, things like that. With the Photon I pulled up build.particle.com I started writing wiring, which is the same thing that you write in Arduino, and it compiles and runs, I mean, just like that. It's, if you can use serial write commands or serial read in Arduino, then you know more than enough to post data to the internet through Wi-Fi using the Photon.